So I had ordered uh, four stepper dampener brackets for a different project, a different printer altogether. And that uh, project and that printer are uh, in standby mode at this point. So I was looking at those uh, stepper dampeners going, I wonder if, if they would fit and, and would they work? Would they hurt anything? What would happen if I put them on a, my Persa MK3, my Black Beauty here? And I'm assuming all of you watching this video are doing it for the same reason. You're going, I wonder what would happen. Would, <laughs> would it work? And uh, of course, uh, of course it worked. And it didn't make it any worse. It didn't make it any louder. It hasn't screwed up the printing quality at all. If anything, it, it has made some of the motions, like the, the Y bed movement, quieter. And uh, other than what I'm going to tell you right now, it was a pretty simple install. Look back here on this bracket on the back. You see some white? That little white piece, that's a, a fill. Because I found that when the, even with the stepper dampener bolted onto the motor and then bolted onto the, uh, onto the piece, the motor is actually held against the metal frame in the back so it's not isolated. So to keep it isolated, I printed out a one millimeter thick spacer that kept the motor off the back frame and then that worked. I didn't need any sort of spacer on the X stepper. It was just a very simple install. You know, it only took a couple of minutes and then to reposition the hub, no big deal. Um, but having learned from that spacer on the back for the Y, when I got to doing the Z's, I checked them right away and I found that the uh, stepper motors actually fit fairly snug into the uh, PETG brackets from Persa. They uh, definitely touch on the back side back in here and they, they do touch a little on the sides. So, well then there's no point putting stepper dampeners in there because you've got a mechanical connection from the motor directly to the frame, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I grabbed the files off uh, the Prusa website for these brackets and I added, uh, oh, well subtracted actually, one millimeter of material on the inside, not height or anything else. And that gives me clearance between the stepper and the back and clearance between the stepper and these little side places. So now the motors in fact are isolated from the frame to vibrations. And it, it does make it a lot quieter. I mean, you know, relative considering. I mean, the machine is quiet to begin with. And you also have to remember that I keep this machine in, in, in the kitchen. It's the only place the wife will let me keep one in the house. All my other printers are out in the shop. And this kitchen counter, you can see, it's just a huge box. I mean, that's like this sounding board or, or it's like an acoustic guitar or a speaker cabinet, however you want to look at it. Anything that happens up here, just gets amplified by that box and then also consider the fact that the part of the counter that this printer is on is an overhang so it's uh, unsupported so again it just any little sound that happens up here gets amplified by this whole hollow counter and this overhang so this is worst case it's it has made it quieter in this worst case as we all know the best thing you can do with a, a printer that you're going to do like this would be to set it on a cement slab or something or if you're working in the kitchen and you actually have a granite countertop put it on that you won't hear anything but uh, there you go I just had to find out what was going to happen and uh, yeah if you uh, uh, provide for the clearance on the stepper motors so they're not touching the frame it actually can make it even a little more quiet